Saturday is Tuesday, and I'm very, very excited to be here with you in a very, very special day, okay? Today we are going to celebrate a very important event of Mexico, okay? Vamos a celebrar un evento muy importante de México, okay? As you can see, we have our beautiful flag here. Tenemos nuestra manera que es bien mucho, okay? This uh, flag, uh, it's very, very uh, unique, okay? You can see that we have color green, color um, white and gray, yes? And also we can see that we have an eagle and a snake at the middle of the flag, okay? The, ya sabemos y, y es conocido que en medio de esta bandera tenemos una águila devorando a una serpiente, okay? So this is very, very important for our culture, okay? Es muy importante para nuestra cultura. Remember that today it's going to be a very, very special day. I'm going to explain you about it later. And also we are going to continue with our normal classes, okay? Vamos a empezar, me voy a explicar un poquito sobre lo que se celebra hoy. Pero primero vamos a empezar con lo demás que tenemos que hacer. Okay, so we are going to continue. Remember that it's time to pray. Every time that you need to pray, every time that you need to say something to our Lord, you can do it. Yes, if you have a special request, if you are feeling uh, sad, or or maybe you also only to say thank you, because remember that you should be very, very helpful with our Lord, okay? Nada más hay que recordar que no nada más hay que buscar a Dios cuando estemos tristes o cuando estemos cuando tengamos algo en mente, ¿verdad? También cuando tengamos cosas buenas, hay que agradecerle porque Él está actuando en nuestra vida. Okay, so we are to do it. Remember that we need our hands, we need our eyes and our heart, okay, to express our feelings. Remember that our feelings are very really important, yes. Acuérdense que nuestras emociones, nuestros eh, son muy importantes y las expresamos mediante nuestro corazón, okay. So, we are closing our eyes in order to concentrate ourselves in what we are saying. Okay? Acuérdense que cerramos los ojos también para concentrarnos en lo que estamos diciendo. And we need our hands because we should uh, put it together. Okay? Entonces, tenemos que poner así juntas. Okay. And we are going to do it. Okay? Let's do it. One, two, and three. Dear Father, thank you for this amazing day. Thank you because I know that you are here with me. Thank you for all your blessings and thank you for my amazing family. Please take care of me, take care of my teachers and of my whole family. I love you with all my heart and I'm really, I'm really proud of being your son. Please still die in my way and give me a lot of wisdom and patience to understand all my activities. I love you, my Lord, anyway. Very good, we already prayed, we say thank you, and we ask for a good day, okay? So we are going to continue with our morning routine, and this is our morning routine. Uh, as you can see, our uh, theme, the theme of our slides, okay, or the topic of, of our slides, are very, very, uh, it's very, very Mexican, sorry, okay? El tema que estamos usando para nuestras actividades el día de hoy es algo de tal, no estamos a ver por qué. And also we have our emotions here. Why? Because I want to know how do you feel today? Today I'm very, really, very really excited, as I told you at the beginning of the video, because we are going to learn and we are going to uh, remember a very, very important event of our culture, yes? And our culture, remember that it's very, very really interesting. We have a lot of things to be proud of being Mexicans, okay? Tenemos muchas cosas para estar orgullosos de mexicanos. As our traditions, like mm, that we are very, very loving in our family, okay? Como nuestras tradiciones, como que somos muy amorosos con nuestra familia, see? And also that we have a very, very delicious food. Tenemos una comida muy deliciosa. And we have amazing places, okay? Amazing places. Okay, tenemos lugares asombros. We have amazing beaches, we have amazing deserts, we have amazing uh, uh, forests, okay? Tenemos selvas, tenemos junglas, tenemos desiertos, tenemos playas, tenemos 
cosas asombrosas, ¿ok? So, how do you feel of being Mexican? How do you, how being Mexican makes you feel? ¿Cómo les hace sentir ser mexicanos? I'm very excited and I, I'm very excited and I am very proud, ¿ok? Estoy muy emocionada y muy orgullosa de ser mexicana, ¿ok? Uh, but how, but how do you feel today, guys? Do you feel happy? Do you feel young? Do you feel angry? How do you feel? Can you please tell me about your uh, note last time? Remember that we have messages, uh, messages and you can send me, uh, I don't know, maybe a speaker or something, yes? In order to re uh, represent your feelings. Remember that you have lots of things to represent uh, your feelings. You don't have only words to represent yourself. You can use, uh, you can draw, you can use colors to represent your feelings also, right? También podemos utilizar nuestros los colores para representar nuestras emociones, no nada más las caritas o una palabra, ¿ok? Also remember that we are putting very, very uh, attention to our value, this one that is going to be respect, that is respect, ¿ok? Um, and we are going to make emphasis today in our, in our Mexican culture, ¿ok? Uh, maybe you, if you travel to another country, yes, you, uh, you can realize that we have different traditions or different kind of culture, for example, uh, the language or, I don't know, the habits and another things, yes, the manners and uh, etc. Okay? But you have to respect other cultures and other countries, okay? Even though if we are not uh, the same, we are not alive, okay? We, sh uh, we should know that we are different. We are different also in physically, okay? Because maybe, uh, uh, the, maybe in the United States you can find uh, very, very tall people in here. We are different, okay? But it uh, doesn't matter because we are, we are all humans and we have feelings, right? And our culture makes us a uh, better person, ¿ok? Nuestra cultura nos hace una mejor persona porque tenemos eh, arraigado nuestra, nuestra cultura y algunos valores. No importa si vamos a otro, a otro país, como les dije, conocemos gente diferente, tenemos que respetarla, ¿sí? Porque aunque tengamos un diferente idioma, buscamos diferente, tengamos una diferente forma de vestirnos, eh, no importa eso, tenemos que respetarlo, ¿ok? I hope that you have the opportunity of traveling to another country. Espero que tengan la oportunidad de algún día viajar a otro país y conozcan de otras culturas, ¿ok? And also today is Tuesday. Yes, tomorrow you, have, uh, you are going to have the day to rest and to celebrate with your family, ¿ok? Mañana van a tener día para descansar, para celebrar con su familia. Uh, this very, very important event that it's Mexican. Other uh, day is about our Mexican culture, okay, which is called uh, independence, okay, because the uh, independence of Mexico. And also remember to avoid going out, okay, evita salir de la casa si es necesario, solamente salir si es necesario, okay. Also, we have our weather here, as you can see, today is a very, very sunny day, okay, es un día muy, muy soleado, ¿sí? Uh, yesterday was very, very cloudy, and then at the evening, we, can, uh, we were noticing that the day was very, very hot and warm, yes? So, it is very, very normal. Remember that we are going to have some changes in our weather because we are going to pass in another season, okay? Acuérdense que es normal, va a ser totalmente normal porque vamos a pasar ya a otro estación de año. Okay, so we are going to continue. It's time to take your attendance, okay? And then we are going to make some exercise because I'm ready to explain you or talk about the independent day of Mexico, okay? So let's see. Victoria, hi, Victoria, thank you for being here. I hope that you were doing very great. Madeline, hi, Madeline, thank you for all the attention. Santiago, hi, Santiago, welcome back. Matias, hi, Matias. Rebecca, hi Rebecca, thank you for being here. Leo, hi Leo. Jesus, hi Jesus. Isabel, hi Isabel, thank you for always uh, the music activities in time. Uh, Franco, hi Franco, thank you for all the attention. Romina, hi Romina. Valeria, welcome Valeria. 
Ay, tan, hi, ay, tan, hi there, and Ike, Ike, hi, Ike. Thank you guys for being here. Remember that you are on second grade, que ya está en segundo. Nowadays you are bigger and you have to learn about more things, about very, very important things. Remember that you are going to start learning uh, maybe harder things, okay? It depends on your level, okay? Pueden que vamos a aprender un poquito, cosas un poquito más complicadas, pero de acuerdo a nuestro nivel, acuérdense que mientras crecemos, tenemos que ir aprendiendo más, 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 ¿ok? So we are going to continue. It's time to move our body, because we are going to do it flat, and we are going to continue with our topic, and also the our uh, lesson of today, ¿ok? So we are going to try to imitate this uh, movement, ¿ok? We are going to do it. Uh, six times, are you ready? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Very good. Now we are going to skin your head. Remember to take care of your muscles and of, uh, to take care of your bones. So you should be very, very careful every time that you are going to make that move. Okay? So let's do it. One, two, six times. Three, four, five, six. Okay, we are going to spin on the hips. Yes, you already know uh, what are your hips. Yes, I understand the scalera. Okay, this, these are your hips. So we are going to spin on the hips four times. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Very good. Now we are going to try to touch our toes, okay? We are going to make it uh, five times, okay? Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, finally, we are going to make three jumping jacks. Ready? Let's do it. One, two, three, okay? Now we are going to shake our body a little bit. And we are ready, okay? We are going to continue. As I told you uh, today, at night, we are going to celebrate a very, very special day, okay? Today, we are celebrating the Mexican Independence Day, okay? But it, it happened at, not at the night of September 15th, okay? So, it is celebrated at September 6th, yes? We are going to continue with the next slide, please. Okay, and we have a short history of the Mexican independence. Day. Why is very, very important? Porque es muy importante la independencia. Okay, because people want freedom, okay? Remember that people uh, used to be slaves. Ya acuérdense que la gente antes era esclava. Antes teníamos que trabajar para otro país. Sí, entonces la, las personas querían libertad, ¿ok? And they also want democracy and restrict power of the church, Catholic Church, ¿ok? Ellos también querían democracia, o sea, decidir sus propias cosas, pero no es, se les será permitido, ¿ok? Because the uh, Spain culture uh, was the first culture to uh, was here, okay? La, la cultura española estaba aquí en nuestro país y gobernaba aquí, okay? Entonces, por eso no podíamos ser libres. Uh, and also, Mexico wanted to gain independence from Spain, as I told you, okay? Quería independizarse, quería ser, eh, no quería ser un país diferente, no quería ser uno mismo, ¿sí? And it was a very, very a special character, okay? His name was Father Miguel Hidalgo, okay? He planned uh, the revolt against Spain, okay? El planeó Miguel Hidalgo un, como una, un, pequeño, un pequeño plan para independizar los de España. Ahorita lo vamos a ver en un minuto de día para él. El Hidalgo, Hidalgo's famous words was Viva México, okay? When he was uh, at the church, él dijo Viva México, ¿sí? En Viva la independencia, ¿ok? Dijo Viva México, Viva la independencia. Por eso en la noche se ha fijado que decimos Viva México y tocamos las campanas. Sí, ok. Now we are going to uh, reinforce our knowledge 
of independence of Mexico with a small p. Okay, let's see this video. Hi kids, today we're gonna learn about the holiday Mexican Independence Day. Every September 16, people in Mexico celebrate their independence from Spain. But let's learn about the history. In 1810, Don Miguel Hidalgo y Costilla rang the bells of the church of the small town of Dolores to ask all Mexicans to fight for their freedom. After 11 years of fighting, Mexico finally became an independent country. Since then, during the night before September 15, the president of Mexico yells Viva Mexico and people enjoy food, music and fireworks. The next day, they finish the celebration with a military parade. Thanks for watching! Very good. As you can see, uh, since these days, uh, 1810, okay, we were having uh, this uh, fight to, uh, to have our independence for 11 years. Okay, duramos 11 años teniendo esta lucha para poder independizarnos de España. But nowadays we are uh, we are champions, we ganamos, somos victoriosos, and we are celebrating, we still celebrate our independence. Okay, how? Okay, yelling Viva México, Mexico, uh, México a a a la de la noche del 15 de septiembre siempre gritamos Viva México, and also we share uh, Mexican food and Mexican games or uh, things like that, Mexican music also with our family, with our friends, okay? Siempre después de eso celebramos con nuestros seres queridos, sí, como compartiendo algo de comida, escuchando música mexicana y también este, recordando los eh, personajes que fueron ca característicos en esta, en esta independencia o en este evento tan importante, okay? Okay, guys, it was very, very fun to talk about the independence of Mexico, but now we are going to start with our topic, okay? It's time to make a review. Today we are going to see a simple future tense, okay? You already know how to use it because you are very, very smart and you used to uh, use this um, future tense, with this grammar tense, uh, first grade, okay? Primero, I don't know if you have to use it. Okay, we have three different ways of use the simple future tense. Okay, we have a, a positive way to use it. Tenemos la forma positiva. We have the negative way, la forma negativa. And the, uh, me refiero, no me refiero a que lo vamos a hacer de una forma de mala gana, ¿verdad? Me refiero a que lo vamos a contradecir, ¿sí? Ahorita vamos a ver más adelante por qué. And we have the event interrogative way. Okay, tenemos la forma interrogativa, okay, to make some questions, para hacer preguntas. So, to use each of these uh, simple, to, to use this future tense, okay, we also we have three different ways, but we are, uh, we are going to explain each of these uh, ways, okay. Vamos a explicar estas partes una por una, ¿ok? For, remember that every time that we are going to use this future tense, ¿ok? We are going to use a, an auxiliar verb, ¿ok? Vamos a utilizar un verbo que se llama auxiliar. This verb is called will, ¿ok? Will. And also we are going to use our subject, ¿ok? Vamos a utilizar nuestro sujeto. Vamos a utilizar nuestro verbo auxiliar que es will y vamos a utilizar nuestro verbo, ¿ok? Verb form, ¿ok? O the base form of the verb. La base de la, del verbo, obviamente. We are going to see an example to make a positive way, a positive sentence of uh, the simple future tense. We have to add first the subject, the, the verb will, the, the base form of the verb, okay? For example, I is my subject, okay? I, I, because I'm talking 
la Pauli. Si estoy hablando de mí, estoy diciendo yo. Ok, now I'm using my auxiliar verb, which is will. Ok, I will, and then I'm using my base, the base form of my verb, which is go. I will go, and then I'm using my complement, ok, to Thailand. Ok, I will go to Thailand. Yo iré a Thailand, ¿sí? Estoy hablando de futuro. Muy bien. Now, what if I need to, uh, to say something in a negative way, in a negative sentence, ok? Well, we are going to use a different formula, ok? We are going to use the subject at the beginning, yes? Vamos a seguir utilizando primero el sujeto. Then we are going to use the auxiliary pair, but this time we are going to add the word not. Ok, vamos a utilizar el verbo auxiliar, pero lo vamos a poner no. Will not, ok? And also we have our base form again, or verb base form, ok? Nuestro verbo, la base, la base de nuestro verbo, o sea, nuestro verbo completamente normal, no el pasado, no el futuro normal, ok? Let's use it. The subject, ah, the auxiliary plus not, will not. My normal verb, go to Thailand, ok? I will not go to Thailand. No iré a Tailandia, ¿bien? Now, if we are making it in an interrogative way to create questions, in this case, yes, we are going to change our, our formula in a completely way, ¿ok? Si lo vamos a hacer de manera interrogativa o como pregunta, ¿sí? Le, eh, va a ser un poquito diferente, va a cambiar un poquito nuestra fórmula. Vamos a ver aquí. We have will first, ok, as you can see we have our auxiliar verb first. Aquí utilizamos primero nuestro verbo auxiliar, no utilizamos primero el subject, ¿verdad? Then we have our subject, ok, we are using our subject in second place. Estamos utilizando nuestro sujeto de forma, de segunda forma, ok, o segunda parte. And finally, Or base, the base form or a verb plus the complement and remember that every time that we are going to make a question we should add a very very special sign ok, do you know what is that sign? yes, it's a question mark que es el signo de interrogación no se les olvide, ok we have, so we are going to see we have a similar verb, will We have our subject that is you, and we have our verb that is go, and the complements to Thailand, okay? Will you go to Thailand? Tú irás a Tailandia? Very good. So on the next slide, we are going to see examples of each of these uh, forms that I told you, okay? En cada uno de, en cada una de estas columnas, we have three columns, we have a lot of examples of the base form that I told you or the, uh, the form that I can uh, make the structure of my future test uh, sentence, ok? De, aquí tenemos tres columnas donde les, ya les expliqué cómo hacerlo de manera positiva, how to make it in a negative way, in a form negativo, and how to make it as a question, as a interrogative way, yes? We are going to read all the examples of each one, okay? And I'm going to post this at the Moodle platform in order that you can analyze the structure of each, of each uh, way, okay? We have positive, okay? I will come, okay? And the negative way is I will not come, okay? And as question we have will I come, okay? Very good, as you can see, we are using the instructions that we saw at the at last slide, ok? Estamos utilizando las instrucciones de la diapositiva pasada, ok? Here we are using our subject, our auxiliary verb, and our verb, right? Here we are using our, uh, our subject, our auxiliary verb, the word no, and our verb. Aquí okay? estamos utilizando mi sujeto, mi verbo auxiliar, la palabra no, 
E nuestro B. Ok? En Q we are using our auxiliar verb first. Estamos utilizando primero el verbo auxiliar. Luego estamos utilizando el sabi, nuestro sujeto, el de the verb. Ok? It's very, very easy. And remember to use that question mark, ok? In this column. Ok, now we have you will come. As you can see, we are using all the subjects, ok? Si se viven, estamos utilizando todos los sujetos, ok? I, you, he, she, he, we, you, and they, ok? They are all my subjects, ok? I'm, using, I'm making the same example, but, but with different subjects, ok? Now we are going to see a video in order to reinforce your knowledge of the uh, auxiliary verbs uh, will and how to use the simple future tense. Okay, let's watch the video. Future simple. We use future simple to predict future events. It will be sunny tomorrow. To express promises. I promise I will make my bed. To make spontaneous or quick decisions. Mary, my computer is not working. Don't worry. I will help you fix it. We also use the future simple for coming events. Your grandma will arrive in a few minutes. I'm so happy. Let's recap. We use the future simple to predict future events, to express promises, to make spontaneous or quick decisions, and to talk about coming events. Very good. We saw the importance of using the simple future tense, okay? Ya vimos la importancia de utilizar nuestro estado de que es hablar sobre el futuro and it's very very important because maybe you are going to say something that you are going to make at the at future okay for example I will come to school uh, last uh, in the next week okay voy a venir a la escuela la próxima semana nos sirve para hablar sobre eventos futuros de los, o, o actividades que vamos a hacer en el futuro and also uh, to make promises okay I will help you, I promise that I will help you, te prometo que te voy a ayudar, o I promise that I will make that task, okay? o te prometo que voy a hacer esa tarea, or I will, I will uh, make my homework, voy a hacer mi tarea, ¿sí? Es muy importante entonces que lo tomen en cuenta, and it's very, very easy to use, ok? Es muy fácil de usarlo, con esa estructura que les voy a publicar ahí en el modo, lo van a poder hacer, ok? So, your activity is going to be very, very easy, okay? Here we have uh, the formula, which is will plus the verb, okay? It's going to be our formula. La formula es la, el verbo auxiliar will y nuestro verbo, ¿sí? Entonces, vamos a completar nuestras oraciones. Complete the sentences using the formula one, okay? Vamos a utilizar esa formula. Vamos a completar las oraciones utilizando esa formula, okay? Here we have some verbs. Okay, we have the verb re, yes, the verb re, re. We have the verb watch, watch. We have the verb play, play. And we have the verb sing, yes. Remember that I will also post this activity at your platform. Okay, we are going to make an example. Here we have uh, John, no, here okay, we have they. A movie, they, remember that we are going to use our auxiliary verb first, they will watch a movie, ellos verán una película, because we are going to, so we, I'm talking about a, a future event, something that they are going to make at the future, algo que ellos van a hacer en el futuro, ok? Then we have the second uh, example, John will a tú. ¿Qué va a hacer con el libro? He's going to read the book. So, John will read the a book. Okay? John va a leer un libro. Okay? And you have three and four to make it by yourself. Okay? La, la tres 
en la 4 y la van a hacer ustedes solitos porque está muy fácil, muy fácil. Guys, thank you for being here. It was a pleasure. As always, take care of your health. Take care of your family, okay? Enjoy the day at home, okay? Uh, remember that you should be very, very responsible. Disfruta el día en tu casa. Recuerda que tenemos que ser muy responsables, okay? And, but also, you can celebrate at home because it's a very, very special day, okay? No puede pasar desapercibida esta fecha porque es muy importante. You can use a characteristic uh, uh, clothes or uh, you can wear something very, very characteristic of uh, Mexican culture. For example, I'm using braids, okay? Me hice unas trencitas and I'm using these uh, beautiful uh, clothes, okay? Y esto está, esta, esta blusa que es característica de nuestro país, que es bordada, sí. You can uh, wear something that you want, and if you uh, decide to wear something uh, characteristic, the uh, event, please send me a picture. Okay? Si se visten así, por favor, mandenme una foto para ver qué guapo se ve. Okay? See you tomorrow, enjoy the day, and I will see you on till Thursday, okay? With more fun activities. Bye!